Where am I supposed to start with my match reaction here? All right. Well, let's start with the result. West Ham 2, Manchester United 1. Another defeat. I don't even know where we are in the league. And I'm going to speak about the conference level finishing in that first half. The fact that Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag didn't react and respond in the same way that we didn't react and respond in the second half against Palace. In this game, we were punished for it. And the absolute abomination that is VAR. How on earth? It was brought in to make football a better spectacle, a fairer game, and just week after week after week, it's nonsense, verging on corruption. And I'm not just speaking about Manchester United, all right? The, refer the referee isn't the referee anymore. There's a super referee above him who it doesn't matter what the referee makes on the... Ah, actually, no, I think you were wrong, ref. Go and have a look. What do you mean? The game played on. And I thought that when the game played on, VAR was done. That's weird in itself. That there is an absolute joke of a decision. VAR, just like so many parts of modern football, and I'm not just old man moaning, but it's just made the game worse. Well done, Premier League. You've nailed it. You really have. And well done, Manchester United. West Ham are crap. Now, what does that make Man United? In that first half, all right, we had chump. We should have been 1 0 up after two minutes. We should have been 2 0 up after seven minutes. We could have been 3 0 up after 12 minutes. And I don't even know how you describe that miss from Delo. Use any word you want in the dictionary. A bad word, anyway. One of the misses of the season. Probably will go down as a miss of the season. It honestly, just it looked like United were missing on purpose in that first half. All right? Garnacho has developed so much this season in being a constant threat. But boy, have you got to improve your finishing. That game was a carbon copy, though, of Crystal Palace. A game where in the first half, United dominated. And Garnacho again, hit the bar against Crystal Palace. Uh, Bruno had a chance. Four, five. We hit the bar twice. Once from a corner. Four or five golden chance in the first half against against West Ham. Exactly like it was against Palace, and exactly like it once was against Palace. West Ham changed. Tadebo came on at half time. Um, Somerville came on at half time. Who ended up winning man of the match? And Ten Hag didn't react. And by doing so, Manchester United approaching the game in the same way in the second half. Bruno was looking for the ball long, but Toribio was on. They just had that on lock. And it became a zero surprise to me that our actual equaliser came through a different style of attack. A ball over from Ahmad. I think it was Delo, Xerxes, and then it was Casemiro with the header. Because the finishing was awful. And we got rude as an attacking coach. It's like, with this United team, you can be as frustrated as hell as you want about the tactics. And we have been, and I am a lot of the time. And the approach and the tempo. But even if you get all of those things right, United cannot find the back of the net. That's what they say is the hardest thing in football. And United are making it hard. That game should have been bread and butter. West Ham were awful in that first half. One of the worst, probably the worst team we've played in terms of a 45-minute performance. Vulnerable. That's what I said. Approach the game like we did in the second half against Brentford. And we did, but the finishing was abysmal. The chance creation in the first half was Premier League level and the finishing was conference level. And then towards the end of the game, we saw what Bruno Fernandes does sometimes when he... Well, a lot of the times, it's pretty much all this season so far. When he gets frustrated, just starts taking it all on himself. And in the second half, as I said, the game plan didn't switch and Bruno was just looking long for Hoyland all the time. And it was just getting knocked back and knocked down. United had the run of the game in the first half. And just like Palace, we didn't score. And just like Palace, we've repeated. And I will never have a go at any manager, player, of ever making a mistake. But you make the same thing more than once. It means you're not spotting a problem. It means you're not doing what you should be doing. And that's what United did in that second half. And then it came down to that. Because ultimately, that shifted how the end of the game went. 12 minutes extra time, penalty, Onana nearly saved it. It's just, if it's not poor, 
it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you turn looking at this Manchester United team. All right. It's just so hard to look and see where the momentum comes from to take us out of this pit, which we keep falling deeper into. And that's my biggest question about Eric Ten Hag. I said there had to be development in these seven games. And what we've seen there is a carbon copy of the Palace game. Now, the first half, good luck putting any of that on Eric. All right. All of that was down to the finishing. It could, and that that ultimately changed the whole scope of the game. Because by the time this bullshit happened, it should have been a consolation penalty. It should have been 3-4, 5-1 to United. Go on then, West Ham. Have a little penalty. Doesn't really matter. Instead, because the finishing was poor, because we're missing open goals, it was a penalty that got West Ham the three points. And a penalty which therefore turned the spotlight back on Eric Ten Hag and the fact that we've lost that game 2-1. I've no idea. Who am I kidding? I've no idea how we've lost that game 2-1. I know exactly how we've lost that game 2-1. I've just explained it all to you. It's just, even when United get it right, we get it wrong. And when United get it wrong, we don't know how to turn that around. And in a game environment where West Ham, the changes switched it up in the second half, the approach didn't switch from us until we conceded a goal. And then we conceded a goal. And then Manchester United started attacking differently. And we started knocking into the back post and we got an equaliser. Funny that, when you switch it up. There was no switch up in the first half. No, sorry, there was no switch up in the second half and there was no quality of finishing in the first half. Those two things compounded with that VAR nonsense farce. And it's not just Manchester United. This here has made the Premier League worse. And it just keeps getting worse. The ref didn't even think it was a penalty. There is no way that you can say that that was uh, what, uh, a major error that has to be overturned. It's just Michael Oliver going, yeah, go on then. That's what that was. Complete and utter farce. And Manchester United are a farce, all right? Eric can't do any more in that first half. We should be 3 4 5 nil up. And then Eric could do a lot more in that second half, as could these players. And they only reacted when they went 1 0 down. They got a goal and then just the nonsense. I'm just, it feels like I'm done. I, I, I just, I can't see where the switch around is going to come from. I said there had to be development in these next seven games. Genuine progress, build it once, one step at a time. And instead, we just got the same that we saw against Palace and worse because we actually lost the game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. My head's hot.